welcome to TJ Works Wood. We're gonna get automation going. Okay, so dust collection system is good to go. I got the automation going. I've got filtration. I'm happy. It took forever. The longest part of this was getting the code to work right, getting all the bugs out of it, which it's what I do for a living, yet it took me forever, so it's a little embarrassing, but it works now um, pretty flawlessly. I've got uh, you know videos on making the dust collector, the impeller, the cyclone, everything. Put those up here. Like I said, filtration, everything's good to go. Uh, so basically what I have is there is a current sensor in these uh, outlets that I built. And I built five of them, uh, one for each tool slash blast gate. Whenever the tool that's plugged into one of those outlets is turned on, there's a current sensor in there, which then alerts the control box on whichever side the tool is on. It then closes all of the gates and opens the one gate that the tool is connected to. And then once that tool uh, is running and then shut off, the dust collector runs for another three seconds to clear out the line and then turns off. Now that gate will stay open because we don't, I don't, you know, less duty cycles, the better. So it'll just stay open until a different tool is turned on and then it will close and that tool's blast gate will open. Now they do, uh, the control box does, con you know, they do communicate between each other. So there's two over there. One will turn, uh, if one tool on that side turns on, all three of these blast gates will close and then the dust collector turns on. If one of these tools turns on, then those two blast gates will close if they're open and then dust collector turns on. Now, one thing that I really like that I did was this button right here. Uh, you push that, the dust collector will turn on after all the blast gates close and then that way i'm getting a good use um, a good use of suction for this hose which i can pull down or i've also got a floor sweep down here open this manual blast gate to sweep the dust into it uh, when i hit that button to turn it off it does not give a three second wind down because i didn't see that to be necessary um, because I will have to travel from where I'm at to there to turn it off. So who knows? I might go in and change that later, but right now I'm happy with it just turning off right when I push the button. But yeah, uh, enjoy this video. Like and subscribe. A lot of mistakes were made, um, but I'm happy with it. And I got this one calling me in. So I'm going to go inside, hang out with him. Now guess what? Guess your time is. Y'all enjoy the video. Thanks. Now guess what? What? Adventure time! <gasps> Adventure time! Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> So I've got this stop block set up with eight and a half at eight and a half inches. sanding just the insides of the outsides of the gate and then the gates themselves just to give a smoother sliding surface so there's less binding. Um, it worked out really well and I don't have to use any like paste wax or anything on there. 
As mentioned previously in one of the captions, uh, the plywood spacers I made just weren't really going to cut it. I tried to add paper to make it even just a little bit thicker, but MDF is just a hair thicker than the plywood naturally, so I used that, and then between the gate and the MDF, I used double thick piece of paper to give the gate some sliding capability, and then put some stop blocks on the gate so when they open and close, they don't go flying out. So, we're going to do a little bit of this action. So we got that. So there will be our drill hole. And I'm going to make the same mark on the other four. Looks like we're only going to be making four of these this round, which is fine. And then uh, I'm going to drill a hole using the bit only from the hole saw because I've got two sizes internal diameter and external diameter and I'm going to drill a hole all the way through this will get an internal diameter the actual eight part and this will get the external diameter so the PVC will fit all the way down and be up against the gate and the, the circumference of this will line up perfectly with the inside of the PVC. So let's get these marked and then I'll throw the bit in the drill bit, I mean in the drill press, and then we'll start cooking. All right. microphone battery died so here I'm just showing the gate sliding and the fact that the uh, PVC sits inside the outer portion of the gate and sits atop the actual gate so the inner diameters line up and there's less turbulence for the air to flow. is the acrylic that was left over from my barn door builds that I used for the windows and I made some jigs on my drill press just to mass produce them real quick to get them get them made you're gonna notice here in a moment that these pieces are pretty long and I realized that uh, physics was on my side and I didn't have to have to make them this long and I can short them down make the gates themselves much more compact. As you'll notice, when I kind of mock up uh, everything here, they're, they take up quite a bit of space. So once I shorten everything down, much more smaller, much more compact. I'm sure there was a better way to do it, but this way works, so I'm happy with it. Okay, so we got all of these made. Uh, I made five of them, um, not six because purchased some knockoff servos and this one burned up uh, so I'll probably buy some more later but right now the other five are working pretty well so yeah I just used some acrylic and it's from my barn door build which um, I'll link here and work and looks like I've got five of them and I just made by hand measured them, did all the mathematics to figure out the torque, uh, messed up, so I had to change it, but this is just a program that runs through, opens and closes uh, the gates, so. There you go, fix 
closed. It'll be like this. Boom. Boom. Open closed. So uh, what will happen is um, they'll open with the tools on. Uh, and it'll stay open when you turn that tool off, but they'll all close when a different tool is turned on. If that doesn't make sense, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's get these put up and start plumbing everything. All right, so got PVC. I'm starting to do the plumbing. Uh, making sure only to do 45 degree sweeps, uh, not like 190. So we've got 45, 45. That makes 90. It's just a little easier for the air to flow around 245, so slightly spaced out than a 90 degree. Um, so that's going to help out there. Uh, and then, yeah, just pretty much everything is going to be 45 degrees. I'm going to comb that down. This is going to come up over to this wall behind the camera, which you can't see um, at the moment. And then we're going to have everything else uh, plumbed over here, which we'll get that. So I'm not going to show a bunch of like meat putting up the PVC because it's putting up PVC. It's not like super exciting. So um, let me get all this done, then we'll get the uh, glass gates in, and then we'll see if the software works. So. All right, let's do this. Well, as you can tell, everything's a little bit in disarray right now. So I'm gonna be building a floor suite and I'm just gonna build that right here on the floor and then put it over there on the wall. Uh, it's gonna be pretty basic. I'm going to use uh, just some plywood, uh, about half inch plywood, and build it about like so. And then, have the piece of uh, PVC coming in right here in the center. This is upside down, of course. And then I'm going to put a back on it that's slightly taller because I do have a concrete lip along the garage floor. So this needs to raise up just a little bit so I can get it into some, uh, into some studs so it doesn't go all over the place. So let me get started on this and then we will install that and we're we getting there. Uh, pretty excited. Okay, well, now it's just a bunch of soldering and uh, fun stuff. So, we will be doing that. Well, gotta make more of the outlets, which I'm not gonna make them like this. I'm gonna make them with the metal boxes. These guys. And I'm gonna uh, start, just start getting them made. for watching uh, I really appreciate it I hope that you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the progress if you have any questions about how I did all this or anything like that just let me know down in the comments um, here's some other videos that you might like uh, that I've made in the past and again like and subscribe if you haven't if you thought this was entertaining um, if you thought it was not entertaining then like and subscribe to see more non-entertaining videos in the future so cool that's that <laughs>